Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and I'm Reed, and this is Reed's Beauty Trip, and this is the Sample Size Blitz. And this was created by, like, um, Kena and Ronanya and Alexandra, and I, Alexandra, and I love them. Um, they are such sweet ladies. They are project panners and such, and I have, like, I'm getting to be where it's like one of those 10 drawer organizers that is just full of samples. So, um, they, um, agreed to let me join this collab. I am loving it. I think I'm getting a lot of progress. So we're going to get into it. And we're going to start with the empties. So, so one of my first empties is the Avene Hydrants Aqua Gel. Um, I love this. It was very, it was very hydrating and stuff. So I was very impressed with it. Uh, this could almost challenge my uh, Mineral 89 by Vichy. I'm tempted. But that's a booster while this is a moisturizer. So I'm not sure. Now it doesn't have any SPF and stuff. So that's the only other concern. But I am going to look into this more. The next one I have is the Lazy Sunday Morning Replica Fragrance. I think it's in here somewhere. Okay. That it yeah so it was okay it was like soft skin linen I still love their fireplace one I don't know what it is but I really that just rocks my world let's just put it simple the next one I have is my Vichy um, it was a sample of the Meissler water and stuff um, I really wanted to work through this because I am working through well, I'm working through two of them but um, I, this one's in, on my makeup table, so I really want to get that used up. So, this was good. I did like it, but I have so much different micellar water that, yeah, in the future. <laughs> and then, of course, we have my little, oops, not that one. Um, not that one either. Um, my Three of my little travel wipes. I had run out of my bigger ones and I didn't have time to go grab it out of a drawer because I have them in a different room. And so I'd used up three of these. <laughs> I'm going to run out of them soon and I'm going to be so heartbroken. I mean, there's other ones out there. Um, Neutrogena has their little individual ones, which is cool, but I really, really like this one. Next one I have is the Dior Serum. There wasn't enough to really know how well this works. So it's an anti-age serum. One, one treatment, maybe a treatment and a half. So I don't know how good this is. But I used it. Then I have my Tinted um, Sunscreen by La Roche-Posay. Um, I like this stuff. I really do. Um, they had a couple... There was a couple treatments on that, and I really liked it. I like to use it under my foundation or on my days off when I don't have to be wearing foundation if I don't want to. This is really good um, with this, and I sometimes mix it with my tinted moisturizer, and I love it. I do. I really love it. Then um, we did finish up the Wet n' Wild Mini Mascara Mega Volume. It was okay. The brush was smaller. So it's not the standard size of this mascara, so I don't know how accurate it is. Um, it didn't blow my mind away. It didn't, like, it says mega volume, but it didn't do what others have done. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this. <laughs> this is the serum for Avene. Um, like I said, I am loving this Hydrance line. Um, it really, I mean, if it's, if I need some stuff that's not anti-aging... This is tempting. Right now I have three or four serums I'm trying to get through and three or four moisturizers. Well, I have more than that, but on my desk. So this was tempting. It's definitely a think about. Then, of course, my Mineral 89, which I have bottles of this, but they seem to think I need samples too. So I always get samples of this. Um... And this is still one of my best hydrations for my face. That little extra, you know, to boost between my serum and my moisturizer. Now, I do be careful that I don't overdo it because it will roll when my face is overhydrated. Um, it does not work as well. 
This is the Machino Toy 2. I love this. I bought um, a larger bottle of it because I fell in love with it. I'll be honest. Not that I need another perfume, but I bought more of this. <laughs> then we have the Dior Backstage Primer. This was nice. Um, I would have liked a little bit more of it so I could try it a few more times just to know for sure that I like it. Um, it went on really well with my Isadora foundation. I did like that. Um, so it has potential. Now, um, I wanted to test it with the Honest Beauty because that was one of my was having a problem with with the foundation. But I really didn't. Um, there wasn't enough to do with that. <laughs> then we have the Marc Jacobs Daisy. It's Marc Jacobs Daisy. It's a fun scent. It's cool. It's, I like it, but it's not one that I'm like... Ooh, I have to go out and buy it right now. Not like Toy 2. The Mochino Toy 2. The, I mean, I use that. I literally went online and bought it. <laughs> That's how motivated it did to me. I have another one of these. <laughs> okay. The Kiehl's. Um, this wasn't bad, the glow formula. It did have the tint to it, but it had a smell to it. And it was like a citrusy, woodsy smell. Um too overwhelming for me. I don't mind soft scents, but to me it was over scented. Um, too much fragrance for me, so I was bummed about that. Another mascara that I finished up was NYX On The Rise. Um, I have friends that love this one. It did nothing for me. Nothing. My lashes didn't like it, obviously. I don't know what the deal is. I was sent this to try, and this is the 100 Bond. It's a French um, perfume, the Devine Vanilla Bourbon. If you want to smell like bourbon, this is your guy. Just saying. Um, I do have a larger size of this. I bought all the scents to try them. They're for layering. They're 100% natural. Um, so an interesting, uh, interesting line and stuff. Um, but it was, it's, it's a unisex, definitely a unisex smell. A man or a woman could wear this. Um, like I said, so, and, um, don't get pulled over wearing it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> that day's a death. The last one of my empties is the Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, this was really good, especially in my nose area and stuff for tightening the pores. Now, I don't recommend using it every day. Um, so that's probably why it took it a little longer to use. But I did, um, I do like this stuff. Um, it's not as good as, it's not as high on my list as my Your Good Skin Pore Minimizing Tonic, but I would buy it again. I would definitely buy this again if I couldn't get my Your Good Skin, which it's limited where it's sold, so that happens. So those are all my empties. I don't feel like that was too bad. <laughs> so here are my empties on my makeup table before I draw the next 10 because no matter what I finish or don't finish I always add 10 more and stuff I could up it if I do but I have so much stuff that I'm working on right now I don't want to be inundated so I'm sticking to the 10 so what I'm still working on is the hey honey um looking to lock into my look into my eyes it's an eye mask but it works fantastic I've been very impressed with this I also love that this is American made this is out of Denver Colorado so I love that My next one is, and I haven't started using this one yet, but this will be starting in the next week or so, is my Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. Um, it is tinted, a new glow, so we'll see how that does. My other, my, this, this is why I've got moisturizers. Well, hoo -hoo. Um, this is my number seven Protect and Perfect, and I need to use it up because it is going, well, it's not going to expire till September, but I do want to use it up. It's got an SPF 30. I love my number sevens. This is for a little bit more youthful skin than mine. So um, for me to keep it looking like this, I have to bump up a level. So I'm trying to use this up because I really need to stick to the Lift and Luminate versus the Protect and Perfect. This is a serum, the Neogen Vita C. I was excited about that. It's not bad. I don't like where you have to pour it kind of out on to, into your hand to get in. It is almost done. Um... But it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So it is a work in progress. 
So I only have like four or five items that are sample size. The other one is this little fragrance of Kate Spade, um, Live Colorfully. Um, this is my favorite fragrance from her. Um, I have all different sizes of bottles all over my house of this. Um, you can tell there's just a smidgen left. So that'll definitely be done by the next, um, the next check-in. So that's what's on my desk. So the next 10, and this is just what I've put in here just so I can kind of speed it up. And I've tried doing it where I'm picking what I like pick and choose and I get too persnickety. I don't know how else to word it. So we're just going to stick our hands down in here. We're going to aim for the bottom. So I'm going to grab, I don't even know what I'm grabbing. So we're going to grab like 10 items. One, two, three, four. Five. So there's a lot of skincare about to happen here. Surprise, surprise. And I know I should look and just grab them, but then I get like, oh, well, I already have this, or I'm already working on this, and then I talk myself out of it. So this is going to be interesting, the samples. So the first one is the Fresh Sugar Rose. And I have, I used, I used it a few times, so there's not a lot left. So I do have that. That might be good for work. The next one is the Pharmacy Honey Glow Resurfacing Night Serum. I have not used that yet. And I think there's a couple nighttime stuffs here, so this is going to be interesting. Then um, the Airbrush Tint. I love, I have it in light. I love this stuff. This is medium, so I'll probably use it for like contouring and stuff to do it because it's a color I don't use. Actually, you know what? I have a friend. I'm, I'm going to save that for her. So let's... <laughs> Let's grab something else. So we're going to switch it to the shampoo and conditioner by Verb. So that's number two. Then I have the pink peony. See, another overnight overnight water thing by the Estee Edit. I love this stuff. Um, I'm so bummed they don't do this anymore. I'm really heartbroken over this. I should veto. I'm going to veto that one. Just. Okay. So we're doing this loose setting pipe by YC. Um, number 213. I'm hoping it's light enough. We'll find out. See how that goes. I have one, but it's getting low, so that's fine. Then we have the Believe Moisturizing Eye Balm. Um, that's great because I am almost done with this eye one, so that's number five, six. Yeah, there's a lot of light serum here. Then we have the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Um, I'm interested to in see how this does. I've seen a few girls try it, so I want to see how it does on me. <laughs> then we have... Another high moisturizer. A lot of skincare going on here. Um, but it's just easier that way. Um, is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour, which replenishing. Um, we'll see how that works. I mean, this one might be sitting a little <laughs> in my um, thing. Just for the simple fact, as I have two other moisturizers I'm trying to get through. So, then we have the... Uh, polar night cream relaxing cream mm. apply on face on a clean and dry skin so there's another night cream so we have three night creams <laughs> so we'll see how that goes that's interesting and then the last one um travel might be starting to pick up so i'm going to actually switch this off because it's toothpaste so we're going to throw that one back in there mm. And grab something else. So, actually, it's the Avene Meissler Water. 
And so that's cool. I'm excited about that. Um, so this is, I think, my last Avene. They sent me three things to try. So this is it. So the other two have blown my mind. I've loved them, if you haven't seen. So my 10 things is we're doing the skincare thing. And like I said, then there's some shampoo. And then there's the setting powder. Let's open this. Because I am fascinated. Look at the YC. Because like I said, it's this color like... Of course, I don't have my tweezers. This is what I love when they don't, there's the pull tab. I was like, when you can't find the pull tab for that security thing, <laughs> the struggle can be real. It's kind of almost like a banana. So, yeah. This might have to be for like under my eye and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Right now, I have one um, be with wearing the mask, and it really sets my face really well. And it's the Ciate coconut one, which I have to be careful of. With right now, with this social distancing, I can use it. I have a lot of clients with coconut issues, but um, since you know we're rest <laughs> I'm cleaning it, um, restricting stuff. It, this has really helped keep this on and not transfer to my mask. So I have enjoyed this a lot. So those are my samples. We're going to play the skincare dance. We're going to play the nighttime skincare dance, which that's always fun. <laughs> um, so hopefully, like I said, we'll have some playtime with this stuff and um, really get to enjoy this. Like I said, um, I'll put the shampoo and conditioner in there. Um, I think I, I killed this lip balm somehow. <sighs> We will play with this, and it's the rosé, which I love rose and rosé, so that's cool. <laughs> so let's see how this happens. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Please check out the other ladies. Uh, they are fantastic, and they are working through their samples, too. So talk to you soon. This month might be a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> um, so we'll see how uh, skincare friendly I am <laughs> for the next month. So I'll talk to you soon.